Okay, you guys, so we're still at the hotel, but I just decided that I had to show you all this before I left here. Look how beautiful. It's the river. Can you see it? Right there. So pretty. If I had time, I would just like get a cup of coffee and sit out here. It's so nice. I, you know, my dream house is to live in like a mountain village city, like where urban meets nature. Like, living up in this type of thing would be dream come true. If I could just have a small cabin and still get civilization, like a cabin in the woods and still get civilization that's like not that far, and still be able to go hiking and everything. So pretty. I guess that's why I like living abroad, because though I was in the city, I was able to go hiking all the time and stuff. I think living up north here in the States would give me the same feeling. The problem is working in the States is really, really tough. Like, to be able to make ends meet, you need, like, someone there with you. Because taxes are so high and the cost of living is so high. But just look at all this vegetation. It is so nice. And there's lots of, I mean, you can't see any now, obviously, but there's deer and there's bear out here. So hopefully we get to see that today. If we can still go up to Anakisa, because it is a little bit wet and a little bit rainy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, so let's get into it. So today I'm actually in Tennessee. I drove, I drove from my brother's house in Akron, and then I drove to Columbus to visit my uncle and uh, my aunt and my cousin. And then I came down to Nashville to see the Parthenon. I just want to take a few pictures. It's closed today because it's Monday. Um, it's open Tuesday to Sunday. And I think 9 a.m. to like 5 or 6 or something. And the price, the tickets to go inside, I think, are $10? maybe so the building has door columns which is the ones without the base and it's flat on the top not the scrolls not the iconic or the Corinthian and then it has the freeze up on the top section with the rele base relief sculptures and I think they're well obviously since it's a replica they should be based on the freeze of the original so yeah, and then it has little statues, like gargoyles, it looks like, like griffins on the four corners. So yeah, let's go look at it, and get some pictures. So yeah, it looks like they're doing construction around it. They got it all gated off. Yeah, they're doing some sort of construction. So there's the Parthenon, look how big it is. It is completely life-size. There's the, the relief sculptures. And relief just means that it's a 3D sculpture still attached to the material it's made with. And then you have some really 3D ones up there. And there's the griffins that I was talking about. There's one down there, one on the other corner. And then I can't quite make out what that is. Yeah. 
ask for safety even though there's really no one around. But, yeah, it's cold. Well, I say really cold, it was only in the 60s. But I'm from Florida and this is cold to me. So yeah, pretty cool, huh? Everyone, so I made it to the hotel. Obviously, um, the drive was really cool. We w I went through a bunch of nature, and it was very, very windy roads. So even though it was a cool drive, it was raining. So it was kind of scary at the same time. But I made it here safe and sound. And tomorrow we're going. And tomorrow I'm going on an like a mountainous adventure. Um, there's tree canopy walks. Uh, this mountain coaster thing that goes from the top of the mountain down the mountain and sky gondolas that take you up into the mountain or to the summit so I'm gonna do that and then and the tickets cost about like $21.99 for like an adult and then the gaunt and then the that includes the tree canopy the gondola like unlimited rides on that and um, some other things I can't remember off the top of my head but there's a lot and then um, they also have zip lining there, and you can get an express pass with the zip lining. Will be like fifty nine dollars around. And um, but I'm not doing that because if I'm gonna do zip lining, I need somebody to encourage me. So I need someone to be there with me to encourage me to do it because I hate heights. Um. And then what else is there? Oh yeah, they have gym mining and. They have stuff for kids, like lots of different interesting things that kids would really love. So I would really recommend looking into this place. It's called Anakista and it's in Tennessee. It's about, I want to say three hours and 45 minutes, possibly four hours, I think, east of Nashville. Don't quote me on that. And it's by Gatlin's Gatlinburg? Gat, Gatlinburg? I can't pronounce that for the life of me. But yeah, and it's like, the ho I'm staying in the Motel 6, and the motel is actually not that bad. It's really cute for a motel. It's right in the mountain, so there's lots of nature surrounding. And I drove through the cutest town. Let me tell you, like, it, it is so cute. There's lots, lots of different types of hotels to stay at. I saw a Christmas hotel, and this was like one of those, those Storybrooke cottages with all of the dark wood designs and then like the white, the white walls and stuff. It was really, really pretty, and it's huge. And um, yeah, there's lots of museums on the parkway before you get to the uh, Smoky Mountain uh, Park. There's a parkway that you have to go through if you're coming from Nashville. And at that parkway, there's there's tons of things to do on this parkway, like about half an hour before you get to Gat Gatlinsburg, how do you say that? And there's like lots of museums. I saw Wonderworks, which is with the big old um, building that's upside down. And then I saw a giant wax museum. I think it was a Hollywood wax museum. and. Um, they have a pirate's dinner and a show, so that looked really cool. So I'm definitely, this is this area is definitely on my bucket list to do again. Like I'm only doing the Anakista tomorrow, but I will definitely come back once uh, the Big C's like restrictions and stuff have um, relaxed a little because a lot of stuff was closed. Um, not only because of the time of the night, but since I was using Google Maps, it was saying temporarily closed on a bunch of different um, places. So, so yeah, so once everything's open again and we're allowed to go back and travel and stuff, and then I will definitely come here because this, this place is like fairy tale type aesthetic. It's really, really cute. Anyway, so I'm just gonna Go to bed and then I will see you all in the morning. Bye. Good morning everyone. So it is the next day. I'm getting ready to go to Anakista. I'm getting ready to check out. I'll see you at the park. OK, 
Okay, so we're now in a gondola. It's slow going. I didn't want to use the chair because I have coffee. And I need to be able to hold on to dear life because there's that's just scary. I'll do that later because I have limited uh, rides on this. So yeah, so let's look. And the seats are wet. And the pants ponto doesn't go all the way in my butt, so my butt is cold. That's the zip lining right there. Gotta look for the tree canopy thing. Apparently the coat mountain coaster is closed down because it's raining. Obviously it stays raining. Okay, so we are here. So the tree canopy is we have to go down this way and go here. That's where I want to go. Oh, there's a tree house thing. So this, I think, is where you can mine, yep, right here, if you pay, like, a small fee, you can mine for jewels here, and these are all the jewels that you can mine. The prices are on the website, so check it out. There's a treehouse place where kids can go. I mean, I'm sure an adult can too. Looks pretty fun. If you have kids though, I'd recommend going there. Oh, that's cool. It's a giant compass south, southwest. 
That's pretty cool. The skeletons kill me, man. Hilarious. So we're going on the canopy walk now. I got my umbrella and my camera, and we're gonna go. Gotta be careful because it's gonna be slippery. Wipe out. Slippery when wet. No kidding. I just lost my footing on this one. And my phone almost went overboard. Almost lost my phone. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be recording with my camera instead. Because I don't want to lose my phone because... I'm all shook up because this is freaking high. That scared the bejesus out of me. Falling on a canopy uh, walk is not advisable. It is scary as hell. Just saying. Let me tell you, my limbs are shaking so badly right now. This canopy walk is freaking scary and nerve-wracking. I hate heights, but it's so pretty. I just want to see a bear, then this will all be worth it. Just let me see a bear. I had to change my pants because they were completely soaked through. And I'm not driving a 10 hour drive with wet pants. I'm back in the car now. I got my coffee ready to go. Um, I even got myself a sandwich for the long drive. It's a 10 hour drive to Florida. I'm going to my mom's house. So I'm actually going to leave y'all here. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit the like button and the notification bell so you know when I post. Please follow me on Instagram and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!